In this video, we're going to see the Musici Reaper in action. I inserted the CD in the CD-ROM bay, and we're going to close it here. So it's going to read the tracks and give an album name based on the same key as the 3DB identifier. We have also the Amazon data source. So if we were to say get data now, remove the CD2, and we found it. Because it's a double album, uh, Amazon will show both CDs, disk 1 and disk 2, which you can see by grouping by this number or in grouping. Whereas 3DB do it one CD at a time. So if you were to use Amazon as a data source, here it says CD2, you would have to go to disk 2 and highlight all tracks and update the tags all. You can also choose to update only certain columns which is very useful in classical music here not so much so we have the CD and let's know it's tagged properly we have the artist the album name etc it says it's CD number two of two CDs let's go to the reaping tag now now that we have done the metadata Let's say for argument's sake, I'm going to repeat in MP3 with the highest variable rate. This is where you define the various format, FLAC, MP3, and even WAV if you wish. Our root music so folder is this one. That's fine. Here we have the action. In case you have already ripped the CD and made mistakes, you might have leftover files. So what happens if a file name is the same? So you have the option to do nothing, which is skip action, override the file, or create a new file that will be file 010203. In this case, put override the file. And now we have to choose the file pattern because by clicking change file pattern or double clicking here because it's a double album uh, box probably the best one would be this option which is single artist multi CD set for pop so for double click and I press save and you see it here now one last thing when you reap you will get files now you have the option to incorporate the new ripped file into a library because it's a multi-library system usage well you have to say which library you want to put them in if you're going to do a lot of batch ripping there's no point inserting a cd every time because you'd have to re-index the library so you might as well rip a few cds and then find where you put them and upload them in library once so you have the following choice then, do not add, which means after ripping nothing is going to take place. Be prompted, do you want to include this in the library, yes or not, or add it automatically to a particular library. So let's say we're going to add automatically and to test. And as you can see, the default library has been put there. In this case, let's say do not add. Another point worth uh, noting is the business about the embedded CD cover, which you can turn off or on here. As you saw in the earlier, we have the image of the album here, which is really the path of the picture in the Amazon website. But what will happen is it will be downloaded, stored in a temporary place, and then either copied into the CD directory with a path to that image, or if you decide to embed the CD cover, it will be copied inside the audio file. And it's nicer because if you move your file around, the picture which is inside of it will move with it. 
So let's go ahead and generate the file by pressing RIP CD and pressing cancel so we can study them. So you see everything function well. We have the music folder here, then the name of the artist, the name of the album, then the CD numbers, it's CD2 in this case, the track number, and the title of the song. So let's go ahead and rip the CD. Press yes this time. Ripping will start taking place. If for a reason uh, a track is faulty you can skip it and go to the next or you can cancel the whole job together. It's ripping in the WAV format and then afterwards it's converted with an encoder to either MP3 in this case or FLAC using the encoder. That's what you had the line previously saying encoding the WAV file. It's finishing right now, last encoding. And as you can see, all the tags have been done. The CD ROM is ejected and the files have been created in this directory. If you were to double click here, you can go directly to these files that you just did in MP3. And if we were to put inside the tagger this directory, I'll just drag and drop here. Here we are. The image has been embedded inside the files you have the bitrate around 230 which is normal for a variable bitrate and the album all done now you can either play them directly if I were to drag a couple of songs here in the playing queue of our player we could play them so there's no need to insert them in the library or if you really want to have that in a library then you would call the library manager here you see you connected to the test library so you can drag and add it to the library in this video we showed the Musici Reaper in more details ripping at the end of the day is about creating files and the golden rule is trying to keep one CD in one folder and this depends on the metadata and the file patterns then these files can be edited with the Musici Tiger or if they want to be played and played in the best fashion they should be incorporated into a library right after ripping with the Reaper if you have only one CD or if you have ripped a batch then once with the library manager. I hope it all makes sense now and we're gonna do another video about classical music. Thank you.